Hi guys and welcome back to Take A Walk with Goldie. Hi. It's been like six months, no joke, without us actually being here. And for that, I sincerely apologize. And trust me, we're trying to come back with something new, something fresh. And of course, explain the process we've been going through me and little senorita. Hi. Don't forget to look inside the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I already had um, topics which we are supposed to go through of course at the beginning of the year but something led to something and this is officially my first video in of forever the of the year yeah of the year of 2020 mm -hmm. i was trying to come with a smashing intro but guys we ended up doing something cute which my baby filmed so thank you mm -hmm. she's my right hand so yeah oh aren't you that's so cool <laughs> wait a minute no with this hand huh. God damn, we did that though. Ooh. Anyway guys, I know this is a very serious period in time and it is only normal that we talk about what is happening in the world right now, meaning... The coronavirus. Yeah, that's... that mother of all. Yeah, that one. So, so, so. so many things that are supposed to be done and a lot of people are gonna say, oh, but this is not fair, why didn't the government control it? Yada, 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 yada. The truth is, we're here right now and there's absolutely nothing we can do but protect ourselves, you know. There's certain measures we have to take in order to make sure we are safe and by the grace of God, we already don't have it. So, yeah, that too. So, we could sit here all day and talk about, like literally everyone is talking about coronavirus. From when you go on the internet to your mom calling you, to your sister calling you, freaking out, Talks, that's for you. You're the craziest of them all. Literally, every time my sister calls me, I freak out some more. So, yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> to friends, to everyone is talking about this. I really hate the fact that a lot of people have passed away during this period. Like, it's actually very sad. I mean, the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. And a big sorry to all the families who lost someone this period. May God give you strength to heal and um, just find peace because it can't be easy and we are sorry for that. We are so lucky to still be here alive and we have another chance to change things around a little bit. So I'm not going to tell you how terrible um, coronavirus is because the truth is I am so tired of hearing about it. But one thing I'm going to tell you is I think in a way and don't get me wrong and please don't misquote or misjudge me but the truth is the world needed a break the world needed a restart the world needed us to be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more caring and respectful towards the world itself you know there's so many pollutions and so many things going on in the world from airplanes to cars to fires, recycling yeah. to fires and all those kind of things that come up that people just don't care about and the truth is people themselves have become very weird you know they are becoming more distant more self-involved more um oh let's just care about us and no one else and that's not the way the world was supposed to be we're supposed to be one big huge distant family you know doesn't matter if you're black white asian does not matter where you come from we're supposed to embrace each other and become one big happy family but Recently, people have become so comfortable with being mean and ruthless and I think this is a way for everyone, for the world to say stop, you know, stop. Just take a deep breath, play your, you know, and let's breathe, let's try to become better people, you know, let's try not to pollute our world. So I sometimes wonder, was this whole coronavirus situation an intentional situation? and you try to think of the bad things but then you think about the good things also for example in romania the air has been reported to be very clean as clean as at the mountains you know there's less pollution like even here in nigeria things are we're getting so bad you know and in a way it is forcing the government <laughs> apart from those that run away it is actually forcing the government to do a little bit better for their people you know like from 
literally a lot of things need to change. I mean, you guys know what it is, you know, from the way the citizens are treated, the fact that we don't have good health care, the fact that, I mean, even the schooling system, apparently only those who have the money have access to really great education. The rest of them is whatever, you know. As Nigerians, we are supposed to do better. We're supposed to be better. If you check it though, we are one of the happiest people in the world. Like you see people dancing and feeling happy. <laughs> Regardless of the situations, we are happy people. But thanks to the government and the way life is going on, we have become some of the most animalistic people. Let's not lie about that. You know, we've become very vicious and the only way you would actually notice it is through social media because people are so frustrated in their lives, like they actually try to do better and they're stuck in situations so you see them venting in their own crazy ways on Instagram and other social medias. But the thing is, we need to do better. We need to do better as people. We need to do better as a nation. We need to create better opportunities. The other day, um, from the second uh, we had to stay in quarantine, I, we had good light for two days straight and I was saying, oh my God, like Nigeria can actually do this, you know, I was praising them and then today, actually we don't know at any minute this light could go off, you know, and today the light just was really shitty, excuse me, you know, it was really bad and I'm like, why do we have to go through so much hardship in order just to live? Life itself is already tough, you know, so why don't we try to do better? For ourselves I mean fix your country for the love of God like there's so many opportunities and things that can happen in here like literally if the government tries to put themselves together we could actually be one of the best in the world if we allow ourselves to be great it's not about spending money and investing in other countries it's about investing in your own country in your own space you know Moments like this where literally most of the top leaders are getting sick and everything and they are not comfortable to go into the same hospitals they expected everybody else to go. So, hey, I don't know what that says about anything, but we need to do better. How do you feel about coronavirus though? You as a child, you know, because me, I'm an adult and I'm so good at freaking out. And by the way, guys, since we just moved to Nigeria, this is... Uh, the only place in the house that I can literally shoot my vlogs right now because it's 75% done my daughter's room So you're gonna be seeing a lot of me in here. So get used to it. And but, a lot of me And of and course a lot of, of you But really seriously, let's talk like we there are a lot of adults running around doing their things and literally We're freaking out all the kids. So you know how I freak out. So mm. how do you feel about this? whole well, thing? the first thing I would is a kid when they hear you're not going to school anymore they're like you know you know it's time for me to go to the mall it's time for me to go to the park and then Are you boom, serious boom, you, yeah, you, you're staying quarantined in the house pretty much but i'm okay because i play my games and but plus i'm the best quarantine partner yay like we so cool like we literally find things to do every single day like we are not bored okay maybe it seems a little weedy, little tiny things sometimes, oh. but in general, we are actually okay because, first of all, we spend a lot of time in the house to start with, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Is that a good thing? Why not? right now it actually is but you know i'm actually grateful for that because if i was one of those people who enjoyed spending a lot of nights out it would have been a little bit difficult but i mean don't get me wrong i'm going to the disco the second this whole thing is over i'm going clubbing did you hear me did you hear me i'm going to put on my biggest lunches yeah. and my reddest yeah. lipstick yeah, and my tightest dress what? I'm serious. I'm warning her now so she can get ready. So you'll be hearing on the news the coronavirus is done. Are you guys serious? So are you trying to tell me that this is my mommy here? We're here on the news. We're here on the news. And I'll be out like. No, 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 no. no. For the people <laughs> that are agreeing with this, my mommy right now. Oh. Are you serious? I was to give you the. Like no, 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 in this house no so i'm not allowed to go out no for another month what 
you're allowed to go to spa you're allowed to go to all the things but not the place where people go after they're like oh if the coronavirus is done then my coronavirus okay, but is when it's done done though you can go God damn. You can go after another Yo, you be such a mean parent. I'm I'm a sweet I'm a sweet mommy. I let her do everything. But thank you though. So you were saying, so how do you feel? Like do you freak out sometimes? Yeah, of course. You actually do? <laughs> yeah, like the other day when they and we heard that the stores were closed, everybody's like, ah, we gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we exaggerate a lot because we just she exaggerated. She looked like she was about to faint. Yeah, literally I took the fastest shower that day. <laughs> Sprayed myself real nice because you know you always gotta shower before you go out and all of that. Well, what so, if you heard that we'll be closed in the next 15 minutes? Listen, I don't care how fast the store is going to close. If I need to shower in 2.2 seconds, I will do that. But I'm not leaving the house with my armpits unwashed and certain other places. Period. I don't care what is going on. Mama going to shower. Yeah, so yeah, we do freak out a lot. And as parents, it is our job to keep our kids sane. Because well, let me tell if you, you freak out, they freak out even more so, which is not good. When you freaking out, I even forget that you are freaking out. Are you I serious? just freak out. <laughs> like, uh, like, this is bad. Like, I don't care if my therapist tells me, don't worry, it's okay. I am not. I am not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, the truth With is With this that drama queen in the house, you would think, is the world ending? Literally, a few days ago, we were on the phone. And then she's like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if this coronavirus is actually the end of the world? <laughs> when I heard that, I was like, Jesus, please, can she stop with the... I was, I, I, I was like, what so basically, the guys, the basically, guys, don't freak out in front of your kids because then they will freak out more and you don't want to create no imbalance in them because then they will need to be fixed and we don't want to have to do all of that yeah. okay guys uh -huh. so this is my question stay at home and write it down a little bit because you guys are freaking out about the quarantine because like what is this like we should be scared about the coronavirus not because of the quarantine Exactly. Like, and I mean, that's a child talking. I see a lot of people on the internet saying, I'm bored. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Like, yo, do you have leeches on your bed? Do you have a messy house? Do you have... Or, I don't even know what you guys got up in there because you are so exaggerated like there's nothing wrong with staying in the house you would think that most of you would actually use this time to just relax and um go through all the things you know like meditate i don't know do something but instead you're freaking out all the time and acting like it's such a bad thing to stay in the house it's not like they say go to jail or it's not like you're dead or something you have the chance to be in the comfort of your own space you know, like, what is such a big deal? Like, seriously, you guys are co-opting the minds of the you young kids. You can stay a little bit in the house and you wouldn't be dead. But then exactly. you'll be outside and you'll be dead. You feel so me? What? Like, literally, you were complaining so much. Like, you're making the young... If you, as adults, complain of staying in the house, what do you expect young kids, teenagers, to feel when actually spring break and all of that, you know, summer is coming, what do you want them to do? So please guys, be adults for once in your life. You're not in jail. My baby has excused herself now, so it's just gonna be me because I wanna say some other things. So number one, when it comes to coronavirus, number one and the most important rule possible is stay the hell in your house did you hear me did, did, did you hear me stay the f in your house ain't nobody got time to be chasing around you people you know like literally i think they should actually put wild lions around so you can eat you people up but anyway stay in the house it's not such a difficult thing now let's break it down into state number one if your family doesn't live with you please tell them no vex but stay at home, okay? There's no reason for you to come over here and just the fear alone that you could get sick or infected is enough to destroy everything. Let them stay home. Number two, this period is not 
and I repeat, it is not for booty calls. Men, you guys keep buying all the baby oils in the store and toilet paper. Shake one off if you need to, okay? Let's be clear about that. You can do that. Women, you see vibrators. I mean, for the love of God, just do your thing. Ain't nobody gonna be pissed with you because we understand. But it is unsafe for you to invite a man into your house or vice versa in the spirit when you should be quarantined. Number three, I do feel very bad for small businesses. I like, I seriously feel bad for you. And when I say small businesses, I think about um, the lash people, the hair people, the nails people. But listen, I know most of you think you're God and you feel like, ah, it's a little prayer is just gonna rub this thing clean. No, it doesn't work like that, bruh. It doesn't work like that. Literally, God can't come down himself and say, mm, this is what's going on. But he has sent messages and he has sent prophets. He has done everything he can in his power to protect you. Now, if you are willing to risk your life, that's on you completely. But business is shut down already. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ladies, you would not die if you ain't got your nails done or your lashes done. Which, by the way, <laughs> this one here is, needs to be refilled. But hey. We gonna live you see wash your hair stay natural like what are you people so afraid of like you're afraid of being your true beautiful self like women most of you i don't know why you think that half a ton of makeup is going to make you feel even more beautiful <laughs> by the way i do look very cute right now so i kind of get it but still you were made beautiful and i always say this god doesn't make any mistake when it comes to us so just try to embrace it for a period of time you know, it's going to be over before you know it. During this process of you staying at home, try, try not to make the fridge your best friend. Listen, we would have to stay in the house a month, three weeks, maybe three months, who knows. And if you're constantly eating like a crazy person, you're going to get fat. Let's not, there's no cute way of saying it. You're going to get fat, okay? And you're eventually going to have to come out. So just try, you know, while you're at home, Try to do some workouts, you know, try to increase your blood flow, walk around the house, do some squats, do something, but do not just stay in front of the TV listening to bad news that is already poisoning your soul. Listen, it doesn't matter what goes on. The most important thing is you should stay in the house. Freaking yourself out now, that's not okay because you're just going to give yourself high blood pressure. So just keep yourself busy. And another thing I actually appreciate people whose artists singers i appreciate music so much right now because it's the one thing that has been keeping me sane so listen to music you know find a hobby do something learn how to bake bread because that is one thing you shouldn't even keep in your house in this period because it's just gonna be a waste of money because bread goes bad you know but learn to cook learn to bake learn i don't know learn a crab do something cool paint paint do anything, you know, if you are a musician, an artist, make a new beat, drop a new song. I'm sure a bunch of Corona songs going to come out anyways. But, you know, keep yourself motivated. Keep yourself, you know, create a pattern for yourself. You know, don't just sit there and be like, oh, oh, oh my God, 20 more people died. Oh my God, 100 more people died. That's only going to make you focus on the problem. And to most of you, the problem is actually not Corona, but staying in the house. So keep your mind busy. Try to wake up at the certain time every single day, maybe like you were doing before. Try to go to sleep early enough, you know, so you're fresh. Create a schedule for yourself. Me, from two days ago, I already created a schedule for the next three weeks. Yes, I might be able to meet certain things or maybe I'm not. But I've been so busy that I'm actually exhausted. Like, I want to sleep. Like, me sitting on this bed right now is making me want to sleep. But guys, you really need to entertain yourselves, you know. This is also a time, <laughs> oh, the most trying times of all, you know, to get back in connection with friends, with people that maybe at some point you were just too busy to keep in touch with, you know, so this is a time to like get back into relationships. <laughs> I am so sorry for um, those abusive relationships that sometimes the woman or the kids just wait for their family or their parents, whatever, to go to work so they can have some peace of mind. I am sorry if you find yourself in this situation. 
may god be with you and may god protect you and keep you safe and sane at the same time you know this is supposed to be a time for people to get and we know each other again because most marriages you know even if you're married sometimes we allow the chaos of life just take away everything you know and it takes away the romance it takes away the love and you know yada 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 so this is a time for you guys to connect and for new relationships try to keep in touch just because you can't be with your partner and your quarantine doesn't mean you shouldn't call them you know check on them let them hear your voice let them feel special you know let them feel like you even thought about them don't just ghost everybody out thinking oh we're quarantined so ha 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 escape from you know no that's that's actually not cool and the most important thing on this list of things to do is actually pray pray a lot of people don't know how to pray a lot of people don't know the bible and let me not lie i have read the bible twice before i find the bible pretty confusing in some places but this is a time when you have to go back to the source you have to go back to the beginning and find things that give you comfort and soothe your soul and keep your mind sane you know and i'm a very prayerful person like literally there's no moment i don't wait for things to go bad before i say oh god please save us no i make it a habit to pray in the morning and in the night and i find myself praying within the day not just for myself for my friends for my family for people i care about people that i actually consider you know i always do that but now i find myself praying even more which is good you know like get closer to god you know or any religion that you are you know get closer to your faith get closer to what makes you 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 know the roots of it all so this time and guys it's not just about coronavirus you guys need to learn to be more appreciative of the good things we have that god has blessed us with you know so use this time to get closer to your father god we got one and he's so important so please just be better people be better people this wasn't supposed to be my um first coming 2020 video of course i filmed a lot during the period we were moving like from everything we did the last moments the chaos the crime the stress everything i filmed that so those videos are gonna be coming next and um for those of you who love my relationship tips or advices i give feel free to inbox me at miss underscore goldilocks on instagram and you can put in your questions in there and i will happily do a video with my opinion and remember guys it's always my opinion you know my opinion doesn't have to be your opinion but if you feel like you see something that works for you feel free to take it okay Ooh, and another thing i wanted to say women please just because you don't have your man around you and just because you're kind of limited right now like there's nobody particularly staring at you and making you feel gorgeous don't mean you shouldn't shave your legs you gotta shave those legs like i can just i can't even imagine what the beauty salons are gonna look like after this period like people are gonna come looking like that like crazy hairy and all of those things so we definitely don't want that but um just stay clean stay safe this is a time for you to actually wash yourself i know you know what's the funniest part at this moment i think more than half of the world has actually not showered and that's a bad thing you know in order for you to keep your sanity you have to make sure you wash yourself every day like if you would do on a normal day stay in quarantine doesn't mean let's just all become animals and barbaric no this is a time that you get to nurture yourself nurture your body protect yourself you know if you feel like waking up and doing your face like i did then do that whatever you need to do to boost your morale you know you need to do that you need to focus on yourself because trust me as much as i love to stay in the house there are gonna be moments i'm gonna resent it and there are gonna be moments i'm gonna be like oh god damn but right now i am feeling myself completely with activities and if i wake up in the morning and i don't feel like i'm loving my face for that day i'm gonna beat it up basically you know do something you don't have to do full blown makeup because First of all, those things are expensive, so you don't want to be wasting it in the house. But still, take care of yourself. Make yourself look good. Looking beautiful is not always for the public. 
sometimes you on your inner self your inner person needs to feel a certain kind of pizzazz you know do whatever you need to do to keep yourself safe. watch this video guys and you're gonna get a list of things you should buy this period a lot of people are making mistakes on what they should invest in and sometimes not everyone has the financial capacity to deal with a period like this so I'll send you the list. I'll show you the list. Stay po Okay, I was just calling you so you can say bye to everyone. Guys, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video right now and you didn't think to subscribe to take a walk with me. Tell them mommy. Wait a minute. After that, subscribe to my channel, go like his lifestyle. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> look at you promoting yourself. <laughs> By the way, my baby's YouTube channel is called Gold Nuggets Lifestyle, so check it out. I keep begging her to post the video she already has. But anyway, guys, while you're here, I hope you got to the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and come back for more. We'll be posting every week. Check her Instagram. Oh, check my oh. Instagram at Miss underscore Goldilocks. Now there, you get some sexy photos that my baby takes. Hmm. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. I don't want to hear any. I do not subscribe. Go Nuggets Lifestyle. Hmm. Take a walk with Goldie. Bye. We love you. Another thing, guys, that I completely forgot, which actually has been bugging me a little bit. I see a lot of parents nagging about their kids. I mean, the kids you lay down and make. Okay, in the spirit. So please, guys, seriously, I know some of your kids might be a little bit. And also that goes to home training. So if you pamper them and if you baby them too much, what do you expect though? I mean kids are a complete example of you. So guys, get to know your kids, involve them in your day-to-day -day activity, play games with them or teach them about you. Let them get to know who their parents are, you know, because some of them just go to school, come back, sleep, eat and that's it, you know. So if you already work from home or you're a creative, Involve your kids, you know, they don't have to touch or do anything, but they can watch you be you, you know Open their minds up to other options when they grow up, okay? I love my baby. Mm -hmm. I've been involved in this one since she was little. She goes with me everywhere So yeah, mm -hmm. and I did a fantastic job at raising her so I'm proud. She don't bug me She don't get in my way and if I'm tired, I take my beyond to sleep and she leaves me alone. She actually puts a blanket on me and gives me a kiss and turns off the light. Who does that? Who does that? Me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Fire gold it. Fire gold it. This is for you guys. The ones that are nice? Mm-hmm. And this is for the ones that are not nice. No, you gotta, you gotta show people love even when they're mad and if they're crazy. Cause then how else are they supposed to know to love? You can't, you can't treat people just the way they treat you. You need to be a good person regardless if the person is good or bad. It's okay. Period. It's really bad. I know sometimes they're just really bad and really, really nasty, but still let Jesus deal with them. And but for now, we you... give them love. No. Send love to everybody, shorty. Everybody, now. So guys, this is my freezer for this period. Basically, it looks like this, and I am actually very grateful that I bought this deep freezer. I didn't think I had any need for it, but here we are in quarantine. So basically, what I did is. I, you know you can't have too many fresh uh, products so i bought my onions i diced them and i sliced them so i have them in ziploc bags these bags are actually fantastical and here we like to eat ground beef so of course you can buy them in the market yourself and then put them in bags like this and just separate them according to portions so i like that i have a bunch of those we oh this i was doing this morning the garlic so this is the garlic which I peeled. It's just much easier this way. You just pop a few out when you want to cook and then they stay fresh because all these things, they spoil eventually. So you don't want to do that. Over here, we have the ginger. Of course, we still have a lot more to peel because like I said, they go bad. So this I use also to cook and I use it for my teas and stuff. More onions, which they stay perfectly fresh in there. 
I have my chicken in bags which I have divided according to meals so if I want to make a soup or stew whatever it is I have enough for there the most important thing you need is period of vegetables yep got a bunch of those so basically you can do this also with fresh um, vegetables you can cut them up yourself according to portions according to cooking sizes and then store it yourself these we are going to be using for stir fries a lot of stir fried rice stir fried pasta stir fried period whatever you need over here we have these little containers which of course you know you can find tin um, canned tomatoes but you can't quite find chili peppers so here we grinded them and put them into little bowls according to different portions so under there we have tomatoes no over here we have tomatoes all frozen so whenever we want to cook we just grab a few this period is best to stack up correctly buy only what you need i have meat down there beef you know you can store in your fish whatever you need in here so yeah that's my deep freezer guys another thing which is very important for this period and of course in general are tin canned foods okay don't go buying stuff you don't normally eat okay because i see a lot of people making that mistake so over here we have the sardines and remember always check the dates on them you want to make sure they have a longer lifespan so most of these things are expiring in 20 23 so I always check that because you could be buying a bunch of canned stuff that expired the next month So you don't want that over here. We have sardines ground beef Which we can make pasta with or just make sandwiches eggs, whatever you need corn My daughter loves corn. So of course I had to buy a bunch of those oats I'm not necessarily a fan of oats, but it's healthy. It's good. It's fiber So of course you can add that up there over here we have pounded yam because I like me some pound dough sometimes and god damn I have this amazing obono soup <laughs> in the deep freezer which I will be eating later we have some beans because I love me some beans and plantain but I'm trying not to even buy too much plantain now because they will spoil over here we have we don't really like spaghetti I mean my daughter doesn't like spaghetti so we buy macaronis and of course your seasoning very important my red bulls these i know they look like a lot but i usually buy a bunch of them just because the other day i ran out of salt so i just bought way more to have in the house up there of course we have our pounded yam beans and noodles you can always you can literally if you don't have food you can always survive on noodles they're not the most healthiest let's be real the, you don't digest them easily but of course you can mix them up with your vegetables you can put chicken prawns whatever you want and just make a delight over here we have our baked beans so usually i would buy these kinds but apparently people like baked beans this time so they bought most of it so i'm gonna try those ones but i think they'll be okay we got peas in can and of course frozen and our tomato paste you can always make soups with this and you're good to go got some plantain but i try not to buy too many because they will go bad fast and you don't want to waste money Just trust me at the end of this quarantine you don't want to be broke a lot of people will be broke gary just in case we want to eat eba or just want to drink gary period um, over there we have um, our rice and yams because I'm obsessed with yam and yeah I bought some of So that. guys this is my quarantine partner and for some reason I'm so grateful that I actually have her in my life because it will be way more boring <laughs> It will be way more boring. She cool and she entertains me so she keeps my mentals popping and she challenges me so that's a good thing So let's check over here um what do we have here so this section is for the honeys i love me some honey and of course um i drink a lot of ginger tea these days so i need me honey to sweeten it up we got all kinds of teas but normally i haven't even tried this one yet but what i do is i put um normal fruit tea like this inside my um ginger water and then i put lemon in it so that tastes so much better over here we have a bunch of coffees you know but i don't drink coffee but hey 
Whoever wants to come over, got some coffee. Got sugars up in there. Wait, move that. Sugars. And of course, we have way more honey on this side. I just, I like honey. I said if there's one thing I should have in the house is this. It's perfect for a cold. I'm going to give you guys recipes for different things you can do for your cold. I love me some baby food. So, of course, I got some of those. Got my, I never run out of curry. Never. This ever. section I call the fun section. Basically, look at that. So here are my whiskeys. I only drink Jack Daniels, but apparently I don't even drink so much this period, which is fantastic actually, because I mix them up with Red Bull and they might not be the healthiest things, but hey, that's just what it is. We got some of the Ribena, which you mix, which is good in case you run out of juice. In the back, we got the Milos and the milks. And here is my baby section. She got all kinds of cereal. Ooh, yeah. I'm not a cereal person to say, but yeah, look at those. She's stacked up. She ain't even playing. Of course. And down here we have juice. My daughter loves Capri Sun, and those are the ones we could find. And of course, had the regular Lipton tea. Yeah, I don't know. Most of you might say it's not healthy, but that's your business. And she loves these little tiny bottles of juice. So yeah, we good for now. When we run out of that, no okay, more So juice. when it comes to sweets, I try not to stack the house at all. Because first of all, we have the tendency of getting fat in this house. So you, what you mostly find in my goodie drawer are actually chewing gum. I'm obsessed with chewing gum. So every time I feel the need to eat, and I am about to go crazy, I just chew a gum and I feel like I'm eating. So yeah, that's what I do. So I'm trying to do that to maintain um, these little Pringles. My daughter likes them, but apparently she likes the original one more, but they were completely out. So she gonna have to deal with that. Some biscuits here, not many. And of course, more gums, more gums. For some reason, I love my mouth to smell good. I don't know how most of you do it, but that's how I do it. These ones I just bought galas, I'm obsessed with them. I just bought a few and we have some nuts here which I don't even recommend buying too many nuts this period because they go, um, air, when air gets into them, they don't really taste that good anymore. So there's no point stacking up on them. So that's the goodie jar. So guys, one thing I definitely did not want to run out of was water. So I got water. At a point the stores were only allowing two boxes but on the last few days they're like, yo, take as many as you want. So yeah, we got water for days. We're not gonna run out of that. So let's go to the fridge. I'm not gonna show you my whole fridge. You know, maybe full and stuff. But what I wanna show you are definitely these. So I bought these little bottles from Ebano, which I love because I actually wanted to put juice in them. But um, right now what I do is I boil sliced up ginger for like 20, 30 minutes and then I leave it to cool and when it's cool, I turn them, turn it into these bottles. What I do is I take one of these bottles, I boil um, it in the pan, make it hot and then I put a tea bag in it to change the taste so it doesn't taste nasty. And then I put my honey and lemon when it cools and that's what I drink morning and night. It's good for a bunch of things. So that is something I actually will continue after the coronavirus because I noticed my skin is actually glowing better and it's helping to cut my appetite. And funny enough, I don't drink so much whiskey anymore because I drink this, which cuts my appetite so I don't get as much craving for that boom boom over there. So guys, this is the rest of the boiled ginger, which I used to make the ginger water, but instead of throwing it away because it's still very nutritious and it still has all the properties in it. So what I do is I just put it in a plate or a bowl, you can do that, and splash honey on it because you see that honey over there. And every morning I take a tablespoon full. Yes, it's not the most comfortable thing to eat, but it actually tastes good with the honey. So you can try it, save all of it. Everything is needed. This, this is the other section of the house also. So I stacked up on a lot of toilet paper and also um, nappies for the kitchen, these kinds, because um, I don't like using cloth. And of course, some baby wipes. See guys, for those of you who are refusing to at least put some water on your skin, you can use baby wipes, but still, shower, shower. I love my house to smell good, so I have those there. I stacked up on a lot of soap, and I also got shower gels, but I realized it's actually a more efficient um, 
way to use soap than shower gels. They last longer and they're actually healthier. And back here, I have a lot of insecticide because boy, little creepy coral is be coming out. Pads, 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 of course, for women, you know what time it is. I love my lips more than anything. I like them to be moisturized at every moment. So I bought the Nivea, the blue ones are my favorite. They stay moist, <laughs> moist. And then Vaseline, that's, I use this when I want to um, exfoliate my lips because it makes your skin pale. Of course, shampoo and everything. And down here we have um, soaps. So my girl makes soaps and we use that to wash the floors, clean around, wash plates is amazing. So this is the other part with the detergents, more toilet paper because you can never have enough. And this is a habit I do regardless of coronavirus or not. I always stack up my house because you never know, maybe one day you ain't got that much money. So at least it's good to have fabric softeners. By the way guys, in Nigeria you can't find amazing fabric softeners like in Romania. In Romania is just the bomb. I miss that, that I miss. So a lot of bleach I have over there, you know, keep it clean.